Michael Moon doesn't exactly look like he's ready to dance a jig with a failing business and an estranged wife who's withholding access to his daughter. He's gutted when Janine fails to show with Scarlett for a visit as promised, then arranges one when she knows he has a VAT inspection. Lola encourages him to fight, but has he got it in him? Janine soon calls on him when she can't settle Scarlett, but when she starts to soften, he viciously tells her they'll never get back together. Then Roxy suggests to Janine that he's got something going on with Kat, and when she sees him innocently comforting Kat, she tells him he can definitely forget access. Kat's upset when she finds a leaflet at the Vic about getting pregnant and realises it's Roxy and Alfie's. Later Kat hops behind the bar when she spots Ian's restaurant contract to try to rob the till. The Roxy misunderstands and throws her out. Big mistake because he follows her as she tries to put the money in the safe. She's terrified, but Kat storms in and sees him off to Roxy's relief. And Ian's in trouble when the builders down tools until he puts up more cash while Janine warns him to sort it out or she'll want her money back. But what's this? Suddenly he finds a safe hidden under the floor. Next we visit Weatherfield. David Platt isn't often deserving of our sympathy, but it's a shocking development when he collapses with an epileptic fit. Earlier Gail warns him about overworking when he's shattered after shifts at the bistro in the salon. Then he accidentally snips Dennis's ear. Audrey sends him home, but he insists on doing his bistro shift. He has a funny turn and Audrey insists he takes a day off, but he has a full-on fit down the park with Max and Joseph. Stella refuses to be blackmailed by Leanne and turns down her money, so Owen dismantles the work he's done when she says she can't pay him. Desperate, she offers him half the pub if he finishes the job, and Owen feels like he has no choice. It's that or bankruptcy. Then Carl proposes again and Stella accepts but Owen's furious to find her in the bistro with a glass of bubbly and tells her she'll hear from her solicitor. She tries to tell him Gloria paid for the drinks, but he won't listen, and later she's reduced to asking Nick for a cleaning job at the bistro. Finally, we check on the Emmerdale folk. Don't go into the woods at night because you're likely to find Cameron with a spade, although his attempt to dig up Alex is thwarted when diggers arrive. He's furious with a distrustful Chaz, but if only she knew why he was sneaking around, she might wish it was only an affair. Declan is surprised by Cam's questions about the land, then even more perplexed when he asks if there's any labouring work. He tells Chaz he's taken on the labouring because they need more cash. Amy and Kerry's grief continues, with Amy jealous her mum's booked a family holiday for her and Andy, while Kerry denies she left the kids alone. Amy confesses to Val she kissed Andy but reveals her real anxiety is that Kerry will neglect the kids on holiday the way she neglected her as a child. And Brenda gets the results of a scan. Good news is that the tumour is shrunk, but not so good is that she needs more treatment.